Hello, this is Tyler with Appliance Service by Paul, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm going to walk you through the proper steps of how to diagnose and repair if your washer is not spinning properly. Okay, another common reason your washer may not spin as well as it should is you have three springs located here. These three springs balance your tub, and if any one of these three springs is broken, the tub is going to sit out of place. Now these springs just attach to two little clamps that are located down underneath. Most of the time this clamp's broken and it just pops into place. So if the clamp's broken, you need to order the clamp or you can order the spring if the spring gets stretched out. So in order to replace the spring, you're just gonna take the end of it and pop it into the clamp. Right now I'm just pushing on the washer with my knee to kind of push it forward so I don't have to be stretching out the spring. Once the washer's pushed forward, you just pop the spring back into this side of the tub and let go and it will re-stretch the spring out and rebalance the tub. Now we just showed you how to replace the tub spring. There's two other springs located on this washer. There's one right here on the left side and there's one down here on the bottom. All three of those springs can or will need to be replaced in the future. A couple other things that will cause your washer to spin slow is your drain pump. If you have something clogged in there, a sock, nail, uh, anything like that will cause it to slowly spin. Um, another thing that can cause it is a part that's called your basket drive. It's kind of a little harder component that seats up in next to the transmission. Um, those are just a few things that can cause your washer not to spin. Another one is your lid switch. Uh, if it thinks your lid is open, the washer won't spin at all.